An overnight fire in Milwaukee leaves nine families without a home. Police say this fire was started on purpose. And that's where we find our Spencer Tracy live at 38th and Lisbon. And Spencer, you spoke with the residents inside. Yes, they tell me they were sleeping and that's when they started to smell smoke. Two residents that I spoke with actually live right below where it happened. They say just days before Thanksgiving, they are thankful that everyone made it out safely. I got up and I thought it was a fire or something outside. Davis Gardner says all he smelt was smoke. All I know was just big blades shooting up out of there and I telling everybody to get out of the building. A neighbor captured the heavy smoke pouring out of the third story window. <laughs> Milwaukee police say a person intentionally started a fire around 1 a.m. in one of the apartment units near 38th and Lisbon. Jeanette Jackson lived right underneath where it started. My apartment is destroyed. Destroyed. No salvage. So this is all I own right here. This is it. This is my whole life right here. This bag. All my things that I got, it's, it's gone. You know, I don't have anything. The Red Cross says this fire left nine families without a home. There was 11 apartments in the building. Two were empty. They're helping families out at the Wauwatosa Presbyterian Church. I'm at the Red Cross right now. Uh, just trying to see how she can get some help. Uh, if anybody can help, help if you can. Just days before Thanksgiving, Jackson says she is thankful everyone got out safely. I just thank God that I'm alive and that everybody in the building was safe and alive because one thing about it, we still breathing, so we can figure out the rest. And residents tell me they have some suspicion about how that fire started. They tell me where that fire started. That apartment was empty at the time, and that previous tenant just recently moved out. Police say they've made no arrest at this time. For now, reporting live in Milwaukee, I'm Spencer Tracy, Fox 6 News. Such grace through all of that drama and all of that, that tremendous pain and shock, no doubt, that we heard from people you spoke with. Spencer, thank you for that.